Welcome back to the shed. Ugh. This time we're going to look at this. Okay, so this is the US Civil Defense issue, Victorine CDV 700. Uh, this is the uh, 6A, so this is the uh, sort of the, the first uh, iteration of the meter. Uh, it's probably the meter I've had the longest. I think I bought this uh, oh, at least 16, 17 years ago. Um, it was an eBay purchase. Uh, I think it may have actually been one of the first items ever bought on eBay. Uh, I Back then I didn't actually have anything to test it with. Uh, the check source on the side isn't actually there. This is just a sticker. There is usually a check source underneath this, but uh, it is just a, a sort of a fake reproduction sticker. Uh, the meter itself was replaced at some point. Uh, that's not the original meter. Um, there was a company in England called Anything Radioactive and they did sell these for a while. I don't know if they've any left. It's been a long time since I checked their website. But all I can remember is they were very, very expensive um, and pretty much everything they sold was, you know, seriously overpriced. Um, the unit does work. Uh, I don't know how calibrated it actually is. Um, I have had a few issues uh, that it sort of underestimates things. Uh, so I, I, I don't think it is 100%. Now, I will demonstrate it, obviously. I'll bring in Mr. Trusty Pitchblend. And you can see, obviously, there we're on the 0.5 uh, millironkin scale. It uh, goes off the scale. So we go to plus 10, uh, or sorry, multiply by 10. So multiply by 10, the scale is now 0 to 5. And then in multiply by 100, the scale is now 0 to 50. So in the uh, multiply by 10, we're making basically 10. Or sorry, multiply by 10, it's 1. So 1 millironkin, but obviously we know for a fact, you know, I'm practically getting uh, five or, you know, at least 500 with this anyway, uh, with my um, the thermo scientific meter here. So I don't think it's 100%. It's still a good meter. Uh, and obviously it, it makes the, the well-known uh, Geiger counter noise. And if you ask anybody to draw a Geiger counter, this is more than likely what they will draw or what they'll picture in their head. Uh, and you can see the probe there with the beetle sh shield open and uh, the beetle shield closed. But I think for anybody, this is this is probably one of the first meters. If you can pick one up, uh, it's a, it's a nice item to have. Lots of history behind it, and uh, you know it fits into any collection. I don't collect a lot of American meters, but uh, I think this is pretty iconic, and it's in pretty good condition. Um, in fact, I'll open it up and let you have a look inside. It is pretty clean, and it operates off four D cell batteries. And I think there's a big thing with these, you should never leave D-cell batteries in this if you're not using it for a while, take the batteries out. And in fact, with any meter, take the batteries out. It's, it's not worth having them connected if you're not using it all the time. But yeah, I love this meter. I don't use it very often, obviously, because it's not perfectly precise. But uh, I think, as I said before, it is pretty iconic and uh, well worth picking up. Uh, they go anywhere from between 100 to two or 300, depending on their condition. Um, I would imagine this one in this in this condition would probably be, you know, two two fifty. But yeah, if you're thinking of getting one, do pick one up. Uh, there, uh, yeah, I uh, I do li I do like this, and it's always on display. I'd never have it hidden away. It's always out in display, and uh, it will be featured in the background of all my videos from now on. But as always, thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye bye.